In some other news, curfew-like restrictions continued for the second day in parts of Kashmir and mobile internet services have also been suspended in the few areas as tension continue to prevail in the valley. The Chief Minister also met BGP President Amit Shah and Ram Madhav here in the national capital. She also met the Prime Minister and the Defence Minister demanding a swift inquiry into the Handwara firing incident. Meanwhile, strict restrictions have already been imposed in Kupwara town and Handwara in North Kashmir to maintain law and order over the death of four people during clashes with security personnel. The firing incident occurred on Tuesday when locals stormed an army camp after unfounded reports emerged that a local girl had been allegedly molested by an army personnel. The victim later on clarified that she was assaulted by a local in a school uniform. Normal life continues to remain affected in the valley due to the strike that has been called by separatist groups. Markets remain closed while public transport was off the road due to the strike. Kashmir Valley continues to be tense after the Handwara incident that took place on uh, Tuesday in which three civilians uh, were killed uh, after firing uh, took place uh, in the Handwara Chowk. Uh, the, since yesterday, uh, we've been getting reports of tension all across North Kashmir uh, and one boy uh, also died uh, while uh, clashes were taking place in Kupwara yesterday itself. The separatist leaders have given a uh, band call for today and the authorities uh, have imposed Pose restrictions on the movement of people at various places. Even uh, mobile internet data has been uh, blocked. Uh, all this uh, to ensure that uh, the situation doesn't flare up. Uh, while the government has said that they, are, they have uh, in, in there, they have initiated an inquiry and a probe is taking place, but people clearly not budging. Uh, with most of them, uh, particularly in North Kashmir, asking for quick action against those responsible for uh, the killings of these uh, civilians. With cameraman Roof Shujaul Haq in Sinagar for India today. Big breaking news and it is indeed one of the biggest steps forward for India's nuclear weapons program. India today can now confirm that the country has successfully tested its most ambitious weapon system. The show is perfectly fine, it's healthy, it's normal and it's cool like always. A little baby called the iPhone SE has arrived in India and we've got our hands on it. We have told you a lot about the phone, reasons to buy it. and.